Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a hybrid rest in between sets. Now, first of all, I'm going to break a couple rules here. And one of the rules is my own in regarding to anaerobic activity. Now, the reason why I'm breaking the rule is because I'm speaking specifically about hypertrophy in this video, not necessarily strength gaining or actually hitting the fast twitch fibers in your training. So this is going to be more about strength endurance fibers and hitting those other fibers that are responsible, at least for helping with hypertrophic growth. The birds are making noises. I think they agree. They're just trying to kiss my butt because they know they might end up on my dinner plate later. But that's a whole other thing. So basically I've been playing around with this technique lately where I do some isolation exercises in the garage either to hit triceps, biceps or shoulders for the most part. Uh, sometimes it's for back training. But let's just talk about tricep or bicep training right now. So what I will do is I'll do a standard set of say skull crushers. But what I find is sometimes I may have an extra rep or two in the tank, but maybe I'm not necessarily hitting failure. Maybe I'm lazy on that first set or whatever. But just to make myself honest, I'll stop the set when I feel like I've hit as many reps as I can do. And then I'll wait for about 10 seconds and then continue the set and do as many reps as I can do again. And then I'll rest for another 10 seconds or, or 10 or 15 seconds or whatever. And then I'll do as many reps as I can again. So this is basically in essence, a way of extending the set into a deeper level of failure. Now, I would never do this with super heavy weight, but if you're doing sets of 20 to 30 reps for your first set, you'll notice that this is a great way to hit extreme failure and get a really good pump in the tricep. Now, what I'll do after that is I'll rest for two minutes or so, and then I'll complete this multi-set exercise again, where I'll do one set, hit failure, rest for 10 or 15 seconds, then another set, then rest for 10 or 15 seconds, and then a final set where I might only get five or six reps, but it burns like hell and it really makes sure that that muscle is hitting fatigue. So I'll do that for two or three rounds, and then I may move on to the next exercise or 
do something uh, different altogether, maybe a different muscle group altogether or whatever. Lowering the rest in between sets, you're basically extending that one set. You're never really giving it enough rest, but you're at least giving your mindset and your nervous system a little bit of a rest so that it can continue to fire those muscles into a deeper level of failure. Now, this will not work the same way when it comes down to strength training, although I know some people that use pretty heavy poundages in their bench presses and stuff, and they do this as well. But ultimately, you do want to make sure that you are rested for at least a few sets in the workout in my opinion, if you're gonna be doing strength training. Because first of all, you don't wanna collapse under the weight. You wanna make sure everything is stabilizing properly. And second of all, you wanna make sure that energy is not the weak link when you are training for strength. The whole point is, is the contractile strength of the muscle. That, that has to be the weak link, not necessarily the energy production, right? So once we turn to hypertrophy slash muscular endurance training, then you can go into these other types of techniques like strip sets or hybrid rest sets like I just spoke about. But yeah, try this out. This is a great technique to help you get sore, especially in places that you haven't gotten sore for a while or you haven't been able to push in a way that you feel like you've really trained that muscle. And the next day you may feel that you get some extra growth from it. Mountain. It's raining outside. This is why I film in the garage a lot. And that's why you see me in the garage. And it has nothing to do with a, a video game machine being in there. Just so you know. It has nothing to do with the video games. So this is what you're training for, guys. To become one of these guys, see? You know, you can just eat whatever you want, smash buildings. Good old fashioned values in this game. Yeah, just like, hey, if I'm strong, that makes me right. There you go. I don't, there's no negotiation. There's no hurt feelings here. Hey, look at this. Yeah, you got hurt feelings? Look, yeah, throw some, throw some dynamite at me. See what happens, hey, look at that. Hey, you just, you just got Dave Chappelle there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you better run off. N not at all. So yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Chocolate.